Hello everybody, welcome back to part 2 of creating web app for facial emotion detection using Keras and today we are going to create a web app from our previously trained model. If you haven't watched the part 1, go ahead and watch that part and then come back to this part 2. So today we are going to create web app using a flask. So first of all, let's create a new folder and let's name this facial, just name this facial and in that we will create a new new uh, Python script named app.py. Alright, now once it is created, you have to create a new folder named, um, make sure it is named templates next uh go ahead and create another folder called static and that's it now uh in that template create a new html file let's call this index now everything is done now let's start the coding so first of all we have to create a web page on which we will place a button once the user presses that button it is going to take us to the next page so let's create one another page called after.html all right so um so once the user presses button on index.html, it will take us to after.html. So let's code this. So everything will be going to be coded in app.py. Only the HTML content will be coded in uh, this template folder. So let's start coding. All right. So once everything is done, okay. Now uh, let's first import Flask. So we have to say from Flask import, and we will also import render template. Now once you have done this, you have to create our app. We'll say app equals to Flask, uh, and in this we will pass underscore underscore name. All right. Once you have done this, let's create another call. If name is equal to is goes to main, we'll say app dot run. And we will set debug equals to now we will create our route for index.html so we will say app dot let's just say it's nothing to it so app dot route slash and we will say define index and in this we will return um index.html all right now we will uh, code something in index.html let's quickly take our index.html file and say hello all right now to run this we have to go back to here and the conda activate base and you have to say python app.py okay so it is now a uh, stream at 127 uh okay so it is here so our basic structure has been working now now we will place button on this page well it is really easy to place so let's just get rid of this and create a html template and in that we'll pass input type equals to submit and name equals to and we have to create it in the form okay so it should be like this and in the action um in the action you have to say url for okay let's just first create a after route for our web page so we say app dot route slash after so we have another route after so in that let's name the function after and return render template after dot html okay now we will also take our after dot html and say uh button okay now in the index dot html we say uh url for action equals to uh url for after and uh one thing we also have to say is method yeah method equals to let's just use post method and also over here in the um, slash after route we have to give method so we'll say methods equals to get and post let's rerun this and we got our submit button let's press on this submit and it says button press okay so now everything is working fine now it's time to start the coding so let's start um first of all we have to create our input field so that user can uh, select our image well it is really easy to do we can say input type equals to five okay now everything is working so now user can choose the file so what we have to do is now select the image whatever user has passed and we have to um, save it to the static folder so let's do this okay so um once you come over here so we have to import one more thing called uh request okay so once you have uh, done this let's name, name the vari variable img and it should be it should be something like request dot files and it is a list and a uh, dictionary i guess so we have to uh, pass in the name of this input field which is file you can give whatever you want so let's say file one let's save this and over here let's say file one now uh, user has selected the image now we can simply say um, in the static folder obviously and the name let's name this file.jpg let's save this and run this okay so we got an error so it says bad request oh okay 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 wait a minute so what we have to do is in this in this form we have to tell the browser like which which type of file it is sending to the next page so we can say this by saying um enc type equals to multi-part form data okay let's save this and rerun this okay so it says button press let's get to the static folder and here is our image okay so now everything is working fine so let's 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 uh, move step further let's code something more so now we have to just code in this and load the model and make the prediction whatever we made in the previous part so let's quickly do that all right so now the image has been saved to the static folder now we'll, we'll load this again using the cvt cv2 open cv so that it is converted to numpy okay so we can easily say save to dot im read um the, the path to the pi it is static slash file dot jpg and we will uh, read this in grayscale we will also have to import um import cvt cv2 okay uh, 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 uh okay so let's 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 now convert this to 48 by 48 pixel okay so let's do this cv2 dot resize and passing this image and the size 48 
comma 48 okay uh, now we can send this to for prediction but where is our model so we have to load our model so we can say like um, from keras dot models import load model now we have to place our model in this folder so let's do that copy and paste it over here okay so this is our model named model 3.h5 so let's load the model okay so we have loaded the function uh, uh, okay so we can say model equals to load model and it is model underscore 3 three dot h5 so now we just have to say model dot predict uh, 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 predict model dot predict which is our image we can store the prediction 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 okay so we can store the prediction now uh, in the previous part we have called label map okay so let's take our label map this is our label map now, now uh, the prediction will consist of six values in a list so we have to take maximum value we can easily do this by using numpy so we will also have to import numpy now we can simply say um, np dot argmax and in that we will pass in prediction okay and uh, uh, final prediction let's name final prediction equals to label label map and in this prediction okay so now everything is working fine now we have to just pass in over here let's say data equals to final prediction now we'll go back to after dot html let's code something over here uh, HTML so we can uh, view the user data by using Jinja template so we can simply simply use double braces curly braces and just pass in the data okay so data is this variable which we are using in after.html let's try if everything is working fine or not let's refresh this and choose the image let's say this one oh we got an error which is oh 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 oh, so, oh I'm really sorry guys so I forgot to reshape the array to one best size 48 48 height width and one color size so uh, my mistake let's quickly do this well it is quite easy to do we can say np dot reshape uh, 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 passing in image and the size one comma 48 comma 48 comma one let's save this and go back refresh can't reshape array of size one oh we have to use image instead of img let's use the file uh, let's say this one and it says anger uh, we have to make some modifications so let's use another image it's a surprise okay let's now uh, let's do one more thing we will show the image to the user it is again really easy we can use img tag for that in the after html come over here and in the url which is source we can pass in uh, url for in the uh, static folder and we know file name is file.jpg and the alternate let's give image let's save this choose this one Okay, so now one thing you can see is that uh, it is always showing us this image. Uh, this is because Chrome is using cached images. So for this purpose, you have to press Ctrl plus F5 all the time to force refresh Chrome browser. And there is one more thing you can do is going back to app.py and in this you can give app.config send file max age default. So you can paste it over here equals to one, save it. And now it should load the file new every time. And now force refresh. Okay, now it should load new image every time. Since this image is surprise choose file let's try choosing this image okay so now it is loading another image every time okay so now let's add one more feature to it which is a face detection feature so it will detect faces in a file and then uh, create a rectangle and then check it from there so now uh, and in that way it will have better prediction so let's do that if you don't know how to do face detection it is really easy to do let me just quickly take you through that how you're gonna do that so for that purpose you would need uh, one more file in your folder which is hard cascade file this file in down description and it should be in your computer somewhere you can search it from here hard cascade frontal face okay let me just uh, do that okay all right so come over here so the moment when we were uh, saving the image let's code in between this okay so now first of all you have to create a cascade which is really easy you can say save 2 dot cascade cascade classifier and in that you have to pass in the name of this file okay once you have done that most of your work has been already completed trust me so now let's read one more image let's say uh, img1 equals to okay now we will detect for faces so we can say faces equals to a cascade dot detect multi scale and in that you have to pass in the image which is img1 and scale factor 1.1 and then minimum neighbor all right now we will create a rectangle on the face and uh, save a cropped image so it is really easy you can say for x y w and h in faces you can say cv2 dot passing in this img1 and starting coordinates will be x comma y and ending coordinates will be x plus w y plus h and now we will also create a cropped image we'll use slicing for that img1 which will be y2 y plus h and x2 x plus w okay so in numpy the things got reversed if we talk about in comparison with opencv now we will just save these images okay so we can say cv2 dot uh we will use cv2 dot imwrite for this purpose we can save this in static and we will name this uh let's say after dot jpg and the image is obviously img1 okay and now we will uh, again save the cropped image now the thing i want to talk about like is that uh, 
not always user will going to pass in the image which will have faces or sometimes this algorithm will fail to detect the faces so it will going to throw an error if the crop uh, crop variable has not been created because there were no faces detected so for this purpose we can use try and accept so we will try to save this cropped image in a uh, static slash and it is cropped and if the image if the crop variable is not available we can say accept pass okay now our work has been completed now we will just show this uh, after dot jpg to the user on the after dot html so let's do that okay in the after dot html we will show to the user uh, after dot jpg we just refresh this and this time choose this image it says has uh, im right oh over here i am w r i t e let's refresh this let's choose this image oh we got an, another error uh, uh, uh. Okay, so over here in the static, you have to read file.jpg. I was mistaken with the name of the file. So that's why we were getting this error. Let's, okay, so it has detected the face and created a rectangle on the face and it has detected surprise. Now the problem is it is showing us grayscale image. So how do we do that? So again, it will be really easy to handle that. So what we are going to do, we will create rectangle on this IMD1, but this will be colored image. But, and for the detecting purpose, we will create another gray image by using cv2. Um, cvt color. All right. And in place of this, we can say IMG1 and we will uh, detect for faces in gray. So we can change this from here and now uh, gray, G-R-A-Y. Now we'll refresh this and run this again. Okay, so it has detected uh, and created a rectangle around it and it's a surprise. Let's just go back and see what's going on in this static folder. Now the problem is uh, we have cropped the image but we are not using cropped image at all. So let's use this. So uh, let's come over here where we are reading the image for purpose of detecting. Now as I said, not always we are going to get cropped image. So for this purpose also we will use try and accept block. So we can try to read a uh, cropped image and if the cropped image is available, it will going to read and if the cropped image is not available, it will going to read file.jpg. Save this and run this again. Let's see what it predicts now. Choose the file and for now, let's choose another one. Let's say this one and it says fear. I don't know. Okay, let's choose another one. Let's say this one and it says fear. Okay, he looks like he's fear. Let's choose this one. Surprise. Oh, there is some problem in our pre processing. Let me check it out. Uh, CV2 dot resize cropped. Okay, so we are not normalizing the values. So let's just normalize them. Uh, if you remember in our in our model creation part, meaning in the part one, we have re resized the values to zero to one. But in this case, we are not doing that. Let's do this by dividing them by two fifty five. Let's now try this. Uh, let's try from this image. So it will take some time to refresh. Okay, let's choose the image, submit, and it says anchor. Okay, very nice prediction. Let's choose this one. Say surprise. Yes, he looks like. Let's choose this one. Surprise. Uh, let's choose this one. Happy. Yes, it is predicted correctly. Let's choose this one. Fear. Yes, he does look like he's fear. Let's choose this one. He is fear not actually let's choose this one fear yes i guess he looks like uh, it all depends on your model how much you trained and how on how much data did you train it all depends on your model and i guess we have done all the back end part now everything left is like front end part so what you can do like add some title like i show, shown you in the introduction or the teaser part i have added uh, be a gradient background by using this this uh, let me just show you it is gradientanimator.com you can use this you can also use bootstrap let me just show you uh, i will link this code and uh, this code in down description in two different github links okay so that you may if you want to choose this styling i have used bootstrap and uh, as i said gradient background and and a lot of stuff like a lot of styling to show the user like you are looking sad and all that stuff and for this video we have done pretty much everything which i want to show to you uh, let's say predicting this one okay so she looks like sad so this is it for this video. If you enjoyed this part, make sure you let me know by giving this video a thumb up and subscribing my channel. And I will see you later in the brand new series. Till then, keep coding and enjoy the coding. Okay, see you again.